Back now on Ice Time TV, delighted to be joined by Coventry Blaze head coach uh, Danny Stewart. Danny, uh, such a tough loss to take uh, in the shootout, but um, there must be many positives you can take from that performance over the, the 60 plus minutes. Well, I mean, coming into this barn is never easy. Um, you know, I thought we played a really good first period. Um, Chucky gets stopped on a breakaway there right at the end of the third. Would have been three, you know, going in the break 3 0. Um, we get that good power, big power play goal there in the second to go up 3 0. And then, uh, it was just penalty after penalty after that. You know, at times I felt like uh, Cardiff was given every opportunity to win that hockey game. Um, I'm not denying that a lot of the calls were right. Um, you know, the, the calls were a couple, you know, blatant, you know, obviously shooting the puck over the glass, high stick in the face. You know, I'm not question that, but I felt going the other way could have been many more calls. There was a lot of bumps there off the puck and, and uh, but you know, I won't get too far into that. At the end of the day, we had to battle. I think uh, the penalty kill did a great job tonight, overworked, but I think although we didn't give up too much on that, they, they it helped them build a lot of momentum and that, that's where they got their momentum from. Uh, you did mention the penalty kill was very good in keeping goals off the board, but do you think maybe it was that the tiredness in the legs that, that made it so you didn't see that game out? Do you think well, that was absolutely. a big factor? Well, absolutely. I mean, the first three or four power plays they had, they didn't really generate much. You know, we did a really good job. and But then when it's just boom, boom, one after another, you know, same guys going out there. And, um, you know, we it, it seemed to be, you know, one of our killers that kept taking the penalties too, right? So you're one more guy down and... Um, you know, Blood's had a couple. He's a killer. Forbes, he had one there. He's a killer. V, and um, it, it's it's one of those nights. But you know, we we battled. Um, they they definitely got momentum from it. You know, but we get that fourth one there. Um, you know, it would have been nice to close that out there in regulation and, and progress. But um, you know, now we got a battle. But you know, that that might be a vital point going forward. And you got Belfast coming up in a, a home and home this weekend. Um, what's the message going to be to your team? Because uh, you've pushed Cardiff all of the way tonight and, and could have easily uh, taken all of the points. So you must be pretty confident going into this weekend against the Giants. Yeah, I mean, when we play, when we play the way we want to play, I think we're we're competing with everybody, and, and not just that, like beating a lot of teams. And um, you know, we've we've had a heavy last week and a half or so, and. You know, we had a, a, you know, Guilford plays at a fast pace. We played them on Thursday, and then we went Sheffield, Nottingham, um, two very fast-paced games, and then coming into this barn on a Wednesday and, and now going to Belfast. You know, we got some tired legs, so, um, you know, we'll get them rested tomorrow, you know, take care of that. But as far as the message, just, you know, the way we played in the first period there, um, you know, that's how we got to play um, every period, and um, it's tougher to do when you're in the penalty box. You know, I think the way they end up with eight or nine power plays tonight, it's too much. You can't, I mean, it's, you can't come into this rink and, and, and kill off that and expect to win a hockey game. But um, we had a chance to, unfortunately it didn't go our way.